Um, there's this uh, new item about in 14 years from now, it's going to be too hot to work. 20% uh, of our work hours will be reduced because of global warming by 2030. That's a, a UN report. Um, and they're talking about 43 countries, mostly the poor areas of China and Malaysia. But I think we're all feeling that it's getting warmer everywhere. Um, as a system scientist, what is your forecast on global warming? Where is this heading? That too is a result of lack of connection between us, that humanity is the main cause in this general nature, and we don't want to accept the fact that the still vegetative and animate is a single system, and humanity is part of that system on its, higher, on its highest level, meaning with actual influence on everything that happens. That is why we're influencing the still vegetative and animate. And that is why it won't help. There will be more problems and more diseases and more uh, more mosquitoes and more viruses and, and so on and all of that it won't disappear until we won't balance out our connection and by that bring all of nature to its proper correction because nature that reaches proper correction it just it gets rid of all the different problems, troubles, diseases in nature and not only in the human life and in the connection between human beings and connection between nations and countries but also on the actual planet that is heating up and it's starting to lose water it's starting to lose, the the icebergs are melting, and the snow, and, and we're identifying how the oceans are rising, and, and all of these different phenomena are caused directly or indirectly, only from the relations between human beings and human beings and nature. We will not be able to overcome this issue with technology. Although we have great sources of energy in our hands, but we won't be able to overcome this with that. Nature is a very, very smart system. And this system it lets us work who we are, what we are. So we will reach this recognition that we must be the correct managers and leaders and hopefully we'll learn this and we'll be able to order. Global warming is also affecting the way we feel, the way we think. It seems that uh, maybe we're getting a little crankier due to all this heat. Do you think it's really influencing us on a psychological oh. level? Yeah, of course, of course. It influences all levels. You can probably do statistics about it, how it influences on divorce rates and social life and children's lack of patience and leisure time and the fact that people will be closed up in their homes for more time. We'll feel of that great results. Now, too, we see that it's related to terrorism, to different outbursts. We don't exactly know how our systems are related to one, uh, to one another, but it's a single system, so that they must be connected. A point where we can't take it anymore and then some change will have to happen. What change is going to happen? I hope that before we get into the great form of suffering, we'll understand that we're in a closed, integral system, and we must begin, first of all, from human education. And human education is my profession, exactly, and I hope that I will also have some part in that, and I'll be happy to share that maybe in our next meetings, if you'd like. Very happy. There is so much to learn and so much to do. So thank you very, very much, Dr. Lightman. Thank you, everyone, for being with us, and we'll see you next time.